Okay. Again, I don't really care about the, the leaderboard too much. I'm going for consistency, um, but I do want to beat some, some of my friends. Um, that would be kind of nice. And I think at the end of this, what I'll do is I'll try and um, uh, give some explanation, spend some more time after the, the solve um, going over going over the solution in a little bit more depth. Um, okay, so let me just prepare this for... So I actually have a new script to run run the program, which is pretty nice. Um, it's just run, and it, it runs whichever day. Okay. And we'll get input. Okay, so we have trees open and the trees it repeats start in one open square in the left top corner. You need to reach the bottom below. This sounds like a BFS immediately. Bottommost. So bottommost row. Okay, so we're just it's a pathfinder down here. You can only follow a few specific slopes. Opt for chiefer model that prefers rational numbers. All the trees you would encounter for the slope, three, three right, one down. I see. Okay, so, so it's not a BFS, but it is a an encountering tree. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's on either side. Okay, so we'll just do the uh, each row. I guess just the line is fine. That should be enough because we just need the index. Um, so here, what we'll do so it just needs to wrap around. So row equals zero, call equals zero, um, while n equals zero, n plus equals one, and then while row less than or, uh, n, then what we're going to do is we're going to say if um, row at call, so trees at of the row at the column equals Column plus one equals this hash, then then T plus equals one. 
Um, and then we do the same on the other side. If rho is less than, if i is, uh, is greater than zero, and if that's the case, i equals zero, i plus equals one, because we don't want to do this on the first, the first round, I don't think. Okay, so then we have a slope of three down, three right, one down, so row plus equals one, call plus equals three. Return t. And then, so we need to do, so this, this is, has to be minus here. Um, and we'll do mod len trees zero is fine. And then there, and there, 159. Let's see if that's right. Not the right answer. Okay, so what have I done wrong? Oh, I don't start on this first one, maybe? Oh, oh, I'm just stupid. I'm counting the number of trees that I'd have to go past, into, like run into. I think that's all. Um, okay, well, I feel really dumb now. Call mod that, then that, then this, 82. Okay, clearly I don't understand this problem. If I'm here, one, two, three, so it'd be this one, zero plus three would be here, one down. So three, <clears throat> one, two, three, down one, one, two, three, down one, tree, one, two, three, down one, empty, one, two, three, down. Okay, so th this, this is, that's what I thought I did. Let me check. Um, I mean, it doesn't make sense that this is only 82. So one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, down. Let me just make sure this is right. This is thirty two, which makes sense. Oh, 
Oh. Wow, good job. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the new line got me. Dang it. Um, okay, so... Each of the following slopes, you start at the top left and reverse. Okay, so... Um, slope... Um, dy d, uh, dx. Let's just do that. dy dx. For this one, it's just zero, or sorry, one and three. And for part two, min of part one, one to three, part one. 1 to 1, part 1, 5 to 1, part 1, 7 to 1, part 1, 1 to 2, Oh, multiplied. And then same thing there, there, there. Let's just see. Okay. So I, I, I'm assuming that I was just one, 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 three. Five, one, seven, one, one, two. Okay, so those look, oh, it's right and then down. I am so bad at this. Nine seconds. One, three. Um, <sighs> one, one, five, one. Yeah, I, I messed up this one. Forgot to change it. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, I think this is definitely the right answer at this point. I just have to wait like 30 seconds. My guess is that, uh, yeah, so Easton's one. What am I doing wrong?
So down uh right right one down one right five down one right seven down one right one down two and then multiply them together. I don't see what's wrong. Let's just try the test input. Um, That's concerning. Why is why is this not working? Wait, T is getting It's never getting in here? Um, eleven. Why is wait? Where is? Why is DX zero? It's not. It's three. Oh my gosh, I am retarded. Absolutely incompetent. There. Okay. Run it on actually my input. How did I get it right at all? Like. Oh, that was pretty bad. All right, fourth place. I wonder, wait, does D... Let me, I'm, I'm confused now. 232. What did I change?
Hmm. No idea. Oh well. I I'm not sure how I actually got part one correct. I'll have to look back at the stream. <laughs> okay. Um, so I said I'd go through the solution here. <laughs> so a few things of note that happened here. First of all, um, I'm reading in the trees. Just This is just reading in all the rows. Um, and I'm doing line.strip. Um, I think you saw that, that I messed this up and had... And I didn't strip off the new line, so I think what I'm going to do in the future is not do this. And I'm pretty sure that actually my run script passes it in on standard in. So yeah, um, I'm going to use standard in next time. So let me like actually update my my template. I forgot that I'd done that. This is what happens when I don't come come to the stream on time. Um, let's do this. So we'll be placed here for um. Actually, okay, so so I, I use these these guide things t so I can do space space to get to the get to the location. So I'm just gonna do a I'll do the percent here up here where I can declare my variable. Um, and then down here um, I wanna use input. So I'll just do do that or something it should be fine. So let me just show you what I'm I'm actually talking about here. So so basically, if I hadn't done this and if I had done um, input, I think it would have just um, oh yeah, we have to figure out how to get when is stood in empty detect stood in empty python Let's just do this this looks good Um, does this actually work? Oh. Maybe I should use sys.sidden.read. Uh, read. Uh, you know what I can do? So while. line
Um, student lines Python is that a thing? Oh, okay. That's probably what I want to do then. In the future. Or just remember to strip. Yeah, that would be pretty useful. Hmm, let's see. That's not, is that the right answer? Where, where's my answer? 232, 39, okay, so that's correct. I don't know if I like this. It's not the best. Let's see. For line insist that student read lines map stir dot strip maybe. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. For the future so this will this will this will go through read all the lines and then strip strip them okay so so that's I think the way to go for this part um, maybe maybe cleaner would be doing something like um, Freeze equals and then I, I feel like I feel like almost like just like having that as my default, like putting my using this in my template would actually be pretty decent. Just like this because then occasionally I I then need you know so like n should be len trees and really I should have named this rows calls equals len rows zero so I think maybe one lesson that I can take away from this is that I should spend more time on input. Um, and should probably be careful on, on the samples. Or at least, at least like getting the right answer the first time because that, that one minute penalty was really annoying. Let's see here. What else is there? So, okay, let's continue. Row call and T. So, this is the number of times I encounter tree. Row, row, call, call mod columns. That's pretty fine. I think this is fine. Like the only issue here was that I, I read in the input wrong, so so my length was incorrect. So that's that would be fixed by that. Here I just need to like be awake, I guess. And then yeah, I gotta say. Uh, so where did I where did I actually where are my stats? Um, so this is pretty poor. 
I was hoping that my day th that my Oh, I probably have a penalty, right? How does the scoring work? Um No, that's not what I want. Did I really take that long to solve? I mean, that's possible. I, I felt like this was a pretty efficient way, though, of converting part one to part two with with have you know having this as a function. I think that's definitely something I'll keep. Um, I just got X and Y mixed up. Like, I don't even know, like, what to do about that besides, like, just get better at coding. Like, just don't be stupid. Like, literally, that's the answer here. I, I don't know. I felt like it, it went actually pretty okay. Um, obviously, not the performance I wanted, but it'll, it'll work. Um... And I think I'm going to move the print statements up above. That, that makes a lot more sense, in, in my opinion. I like that a lot more. Let's do this. Just format it nicely so that um, my, my, lint, my formatter will, will like it. Okay. So kind of back to explaining a little bit more how that I've cleaned it up. So read in the trees, read in all the rows, um, figure out the number of columns, figure out the number of number of rows. This is just to, to allow me to loop until I get there. Um, and I should probably use a for loop, I guess. Um. Ten zero n dy. I think that should work. Oh crap! Run three. Does that does is this valid? Because this should be the step. Okay, so so maybe I should just do. Yeah, okay, so this is what I'm going to use for up here. Um, yeah, because the map object, you can't iterate over that. You, you have to convert it to a, you need it as a list, so. Hmm. Yeah, and then we can get rid of this row. So this this is this is a lot cleaner. Maybe I should go for clean. I'm not gonna or code golf these things. Oh well, I'm still gonna go for speed. It's gonna shoot me in the foot like multiple times, but it, it's it's whatever. Um, what else is there here to say? Yeah, I mean, if if I wasn't incompetent and couldn't like read correctly, and I, I got the indices, I literally like I got the slope wrong. How do you do that? Oh well, live and learn. Uh, at least at least I am. I'm just gonna I'm gonna play the long game. You know, all these guys will you know hopefully stop. You know, you know most of these people are in school, so maybe I can catch up once they're all. Uh, once they're all in finals in a couple weeks and I can maybe, 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 uh, get in there, get in a little bit faster, catch up a little bit. Um, 
just going for consistency, as I said. Um, yeah, I, I think that's that's about it. Um, I don't think there's a ton more to say. I think it's pretty elegant to have this this part two stuff. Um, I think that's really nice. Um, um, that it that it was literally just uh, so, uh, building off of part one, calling that as a function. Okay. Well. Um, so I think in th what I want to do now as well is is do something so that I can pull in the sample input. I'm not really sure how. Maybe I'll just edit my run script. I think that's what I'll do. So, so this is my run script. Maybe I'll add a new script that is like run test. And maybe I'll do make a a way to like because X clip. Shoot, x clip. If I copy this x clip dash. How do I like print it out? Here we go, this is what I want. All right, so Something like that, I think, makes sense. Oh, I was I was doing the this stuff. Okay, so X clip. Wait. So let me put this in my clipboard again. Yeah, that, no, that totally doesn't work. What? Um, yeah, no, that's this is the wrong direction. Pipe.
There we go. Okay, so this is what I want. Make test. Um, so what this will do is Excel a clipboard output and then day. Okay, so let's just try this. We'll go back and copy. Oh, wait. Okay, so Excel. Ah, okay, so, so no dash dash clipboard because that gets the actual clipboard rather than the primary selection. So let's, let's copy that. Oh, I need to add both run test script and make test. Let me get this on the clipboard again. And then o3.test.text. Looks good to me. Let's just see if. Um, so first of all, let me go ahead and add some error checking. Let's do that here too. We'll add some error checking to to this. Error if no day. So if let's just I, I kind of like this. Um, regex stuff, not a valid day. Um, What else can we do here? Error if not a year, dir, skip if not a year directory. Okay, let's just copy this same thing down to here. Okay, now, now I'm seeing a pattern. <laughs> I don't know. So let's, let's go ahead and So there's there's this thing. Honestly, I, I'm fine with leaving these two kind of the same. No wait, that's not the right one. This one. Run script here. Uh, 
and run test. Okay, so get day script equals let's just script part and then what we can do is we can take in the the name of the script as well as And then we use a script name here. Okay, what can we do here? Okay, so then here in get day script part, we can just replace that entire thing in each one of these. I think that's actually pretty clean. Oh, dang it, uh, what did I do? What did I do? Oh, it's a function, of course. and run test. So let's just take a look at this script. Looks good to me. So in test three, Yep. Let's try this one again, just to make sure. So select. Looks good. And I guess run three, yeah, that works. Okay, so what else is there? What else can we optimize? I think this is fine. We'll go with that. Um, that should help make me maybe slightly more competent, or at least I'll pretend it does. It probably won't make me any better. Um, let's think here. Is there anything else now that I've had a couple minutes to digest this? I think the trick is I'm gonna have to. I should. I should just like stick to co reasonable variable names. Like T is fine, but like all the other stuff is kind of like, and in, in variable orders, that really kicked me in the butt, dx and dy. Because I, I didn't dy dx for some reason because of row column, but I think it's just easier for me to have it in the correct order. Um, and next time we'll use this l.strip thing for l and sys.sitin.readlines. Um, and then do I want a for loop immediately? Let's just do that anyway.
I think I think so. I think we're gonna want this. Why not? Why not? Um if we don't need it, we can always delete it. Deleting is fairly fairly cheap. So uh, let's actually look back and see what else I did here. So type conversions. Uh, let's go here. Yeah, if I had had to convert this to an integer, for example, that would be fine. I think with a template, it would be fine because then I could just use the, this thing here. Um, something like this, maybe. Maybe I'll use pass on these. As I mentioned, I can put type space space to get to each one of these, so that's pretty convenient. Okay, well, that was less than ideal, um, but I think we're, we're learning. And like I said, we're going for the uh, consistency. If you wanna see my source code, um, go to um, source type slash tilde Sumner um, advent of code. This is my repository, or this is my project. Um, and then I have, you can view the sources here. And uh, you can join my leaderboard, or you can just not, that's fine too. And then you can view the tree, which has all my solutions. So here's, here's that solution. Let's see, is there anything else? I think that that's, that's about it for today. Um, I'm going to hop off the stream. Thanks all for watching, whether you watched on YouTube or watched on Twitch. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And if you liked it, you should follow me so that you can know when I am streaming again, which will be tomorrow at 10 o'clock Mountain Standard Time when this problem becomes available. Alrighty. Thanks, everyone.